Hey, hey guys, all Manji here back in with another video for Red Devil Studio. Hopefully, finally, the mic is actually sorted out. Apologies for the static on previous videos. Um, I think it might be due to, due to input volume, but anyway, and um, we're going to get into the latest news. And um, so, obviously, the transfer window has been closed for England for a while now, and um, that doesn't mean there isn't any transfer news to talk about in terms of outgoings. Um, and the two players that you see in front of you are two pla two players that that could potentially be leaving the club uh, by the end of the European transfer window. Um, so the first player we'll just briefly talk about is a player to the left, that's Marcus Rojo. Now, while we didn't report it um, or talk about it before, Marcus Rojo, obviously he's not really featured, to be honest, um, for a while, to be honest. I would argue over the last two years, Marcus Rojo has really not been an aspect part of the Manchester United squad. Um, he's been played with injuries, etc. Um, and... Um, Apparently, you know, there was supposedly a, 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 a move for him to go to Everton, which fell through and he wasn't particularly happy about. Um, so recent reports, well, OK, reports out of Turkey, actually, um, have basically said that it's possible that Marcus Rocco um, could basically sign for Fenerbahce. Um, he, he, like I said, is certainly one of the players um, that needs to go. Um, that is also part of the Deadwood, um, and it's currently just making um, essentially just a shed ton of money, um, not particularly doing anything. Um, according to uh, what is the report again? It, what's the newspaper called? Poster. That's it. Poster. According to the Turkish newspaper Poster, basically, the agreement would be that um, Marcus, at the very least, would basically go out um, on loan. They've already they've already signed um, a Huddersfield Town guy called Mateus Zanka. Um, I think, according to reports, um, uh, and they're trying to sign, I think, Alexander Koloff from Roma as well. Um, but essentially, um, the gist of it is that ideally, um, a loan deal would be agreed for Marcus Rojo to go to Fenerbahce. And bearing in mind the transfer window for the Turkish league, much like a lot of Europe closed actually set on September the 2nd, there's still at least a good, what, um, three weeks, arguably. Two and a bit weeks, two and a bit weeks for the deal to go through. Um, so yeah, Marcus Rojo, as you know, the reality is unfortunately there's not as much, there's not space in the squad anymore. A loan move or, 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 or a sell should be. I, I really don't actually understand to be honest why, if there was an agreement for him to go to Everton, um, why he, they couldn't have sell him. And uh, he's certainly not. He was what he was worth eighteen million, but he's certainly. Um, if they want to sell him for 25 million, okay, maybe a bit of profit, but 18 million, I think, is fine. Um, the issue that I think, unfortunately, we have with United players is whether it's, it's the wage issue. And I don't know whether the wage issue is the key as opposed to transfer fees. The transfer fee, Edward Wood and the board need to just get a hold of themselves and realize they can't make profit on every single player, especially if not playing well or injury prone. If it's wages, again, that's on the board for offering players big wages. So there we go. Um, so that's Marcus Rojo. What I want to talk about, obviously, the remainder of this video is one, Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez is obviously at Manchester United. He's the highest paid player in the Premier League. People need to be aware about this. He's the highest paid player in the Premier League um, on 350k a week plus, I think, probably potentially closer to 400k, if you include add ons. Um, and um, Solskjaer essentially doesn't want to, it's rumored anyway, he doesn't want to be, that he doesn't want to be part of his plans. The Sun are reporting this, and now I know the Sun um, are not the most reliable of people, you know. So, but the person who is reporting it, um, I'll just sort of get it. The person who's reporting it is actually fairly reliable. He is actually he's known he's known a lot of stuff coming out of Manchester United, um, and to be honest, um, it's Neil Curtis basically. He's actually fairly reliable, um, and to be honest. Given how Sanchez wasn't really involved in pre-season, um, he's not part of this young... You know, it's clear to see that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wants to, wants to build a United squad for the future. You know, positivity, youth, etc. He didn't buy Alexis Sanchez. And frankly, to have a player who's on 400k, that are there about a week, you know, on your bench, when there's... It, the way I sort of see it is that why would um, Solskjaer sign... Someone like Daniel James, you know, Alexis Sanchez, for whatever reason, seems to only want to play on the, on the left wing. He could play up top. He could see that as another option. 
but for some reason, maybe it must be in his contract, where he starts at United, he's always seemed to play at the left wing, with maybe one occasion him being central. So right now, you have Magua you have sorry, um, Martial who can play there, although he might go to number nine. You have Rashford who can play there, who can also go towards well. You have Daniel James who can play there. And, and arguably, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would start all of them ahead of Sanchez. And I will see, and I think we'll have more of an idea of what will happen come the weekend against Wolves. But if um, Neil Curtis is to be believed, um, it's quite extensive. Solskjaer are ready to dump Alex Sanchez to the Man United reserves. Um, and, you know, the onus appears to be on, on Alexis Sanchez to find another club, basically. There's reports that there was apparently a training ground bust up between Greenwood due to a, a training ground tackle that he did. Of course, Alex Sanchez recovering from injury and that probably didn't go down well to ease to ease things. Um, the Solskjaer is desperate to get rid of him before the trans European trans window closes. Um, apparently, Roma wanted him on loan, um, but they refused to pay his huge salary. This is the problem. The problem with unloading Alexis Sanchez is is his salary. No. People might be prepared to sign him to get to, or to get him on loan, but they're not prepared to subsidise the salary. On a, a player's on four hundred k a week who's on no, under no obligation, like Gareth Bale, something sent to leave, they're not prepared to subsidise. Um, and apparently, you know, social social saying that Sanchez to a certain extent has been a bit of a negative influence behind the scenes. You know, this is this could this could all be speculative, but the big thing is that it just seems that he's not part of Solskjaer's plans. Um, and more importantly, um, it just seems that if he's not, if I assume there'll be a clash with the board here because ultimately, um, you can't have a 400k player on your bench. But if Solskjaer is in charge, there's a very good chance that, as reports to have, have him go by, that he just might be relegated to the reserves potentially, you know, if he doesn't find a club. And that puts the onus, I would argue, um, the onus um, on um, Alex Sanchez to basically find another club. That's essentially the gist of it, really. Anyway, um, thank you for listening, guys. Um, if there's any more transfer news, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know about it, especially regards to Pogba. We might do a video about whether Pogba's still not, but I think he'll stay anyway. But this is it. Um, this is a video. Um, and uh, stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at We Are United X. Um, there's still time to join our fantasy football competition as well. There's a prize of a Manchester United shirt. Link will be in the description and, we'll, and there'll be a, a, a card that you can click on as well. Um, anything else? Yes, stay tuned for um, Red Devil Studio Live on Friday. We get Premier League fans to discuss all things football. We'll have our weekend preview for the Wolves game. That'll be coming on Sunday. And then, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a live stream watch-along for Manchester United against Wolves on Monday night. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.